Come on, buddy. Here, baby. Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna here with Canine Co-Pilots with my buddy Raina. And today is Raina's, I think, fourth or fifth day in training with us. So today is your guys' first lesson video. Hooray! <laughs> um, today's topic of interest, I want to talk about the first, our just first layer, first level of training tools. And those are our marker words. Both negative marker words, positive marker words, bridge words, and release words. Main topic of the day. So what is a marker word? A marker word is a word or a sound that I use immediately when the dog does something I like. That means food is coming. It's essentially a way to build behaviors on top of each other and show them that, yes, that's what I like. Keep doing that, and I'm going to pay you for it. So that will add a small dose of positive chemicals to their little brain. And she thinks, wow, that was really good. Like, Anna liked that. I will do it more often. The marker word I use is yes. Yes means that's right, that's what I was after, you're on your way, here's some food, now you should do that again and do more of it. That is really, it's a really important word, and I have a, a, a deal with her where I have told her that if I say yes, that I will feed her every time. So that word is kind of sacred. I'm not going to say that to her in a way that she thinks is about her and not pay her because that's not our agreement. Our agreement is, is if you work for me, I'll do something nice for you. Yes, like sitting down in front of me. And you can use that marker word in a couple different ways. So for me, when I'm teaching new behaviors, if she does a good thing, I'll mark it with yes and pay her right away. Say if I'm teaching her place and she goes and puts a foot on it, yes, and then I'll pay her. Another way is to mark behavior she's offering like right, ah, uh, like right here, yes. And she's offering a good sit. She's like, hey, you have food. I like food. You're not paying attention to me. You're talking to this weird box. What, what do you want? And I haven't done anything. I haven't told her what I wanted. She offered me a sit. I liked it. I said yes, and I paid her right away. And you can see the look on her face when I say it. Her ears perk up, and that's really what my goal is. You heard me say that word when I said her name during the name game. I said, Reina, yes, when she looked at me. So she's already pretty familiar with hearing that and understanding that means food's coming. Uh, another thing you heard me use a second ago is my negative marker, which is uh-uh. You can tell my, <clears throat> my voice changes a little bit, and I kind of add a little more of a deeper, more serious tone to it. And uh-uh means that's not what I want. Do not do that anymore. Make a new behavior. And we can use that at different levels. Like if she goes on her place bed and she comes off before I release her, I'll say, uh-uh, go place. Like coming off is wrong. And in the future, I'll pair that uh-uh with a little bump on her collar or a bump from the e-collar that tells her that's wrong. Do something different. Um, once there, so that's your negative marker is uh-uh. I don't like the word no. Uh, you can use no, but I wouldn't use it for a good while until the dog really understands the behavior like something serious that I'm like, do not do that. I use no as more of a serious, like, I am upset, do not ever do that again, bad dog type of thing. Uh, another, another layer to this would be our release word. And the release word is okay. And okay means you're free to go about your business. You're free to get up. You are free from obedience. You can come off the place, but you can come off your sit, whatever. You're a free dog. Okay releases the dog from obedience or from a behavior. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about real quick while she's staring here, yes, so nicely, is bridge words. Bridge words are words that I use to help the behavior continue. So if Raina is on her place bed and she's not quite sure if it's right, but she's like really trying to get information from me, then I'll tell her that she's right and it's good. But that these words don't mean that she can get up. They just mean continue. So for me, it's any kind of like praise word, word like good, nice, super, wow. And <laughs> you'll hear as in the videos as I kind of train along that I stretch those words out a little bit like a bridge, like I'm trying to bridge her from one behavior to the next, essentially. Um, I'm going to just kind of work her at will now and I'll, let, I'll point out the different things I'm using as I do them, but just to let you guys see in action. And I want you guys to start paying attention and maybe as you watch the videos, kind of imagine yourselves giving her the marker words or the praise words and see if you can kind of follow along with me as we train and that'll help you guys practice using them when you take her home to communicate with her in a really clear way. So maybe, so like right here, right now, sit. Yes. Yes means the cookie's coming. Good sit. Okay. Okay means she can get up. Good job, buddy. Right now, go place. Yes. Yes means cookie's coming. Good. Wow. Good girl. Okay. Okay means she can get up. And if you see, I kind of use my hand a little bit like Jeff calls it Will Smith. I call it Vanna White, whatever you want to say. But it's just an invitation uh, and a, 
a physical invitation to leave or move. Ready, buddy? Go, please. Yes. Good job. Now, yes does not mean she can get up. So if she were to come off of that place bed before I release her, then I would use my negative marker and my leash to help guard her back to her place bed. The yes just means that that's the right thing and I really like it and I want her to do it more often. Does not mean she can leave. Okay. Good job. Good job, Raina. Come on, baby. Come here, sweet cheeks. That's a girl. Sit. Good. Do you know a down? Down. Yes, good. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. Down. Good down. So right there, you actually, uh-uh, down. You actually saw me use my negative marker to get her to go back down. And I haven't put any, yeah, go down. Good girl. I have not put any responsibility to this down yet. I'm sure you guys have. But this is a new one for her and I, so I'm not going to add a lot of pressure to this. Yes, good girl. Okay. You actually probably noticed that I was feeding her continuously. The reason I did that was because the first time I asked her to down, as soon as I said yes, she popped back up. So that to me tells me that she believes that down means just lay down real quick and pop back up. I wanted to show her the value of re remaining in the down. So I did what I call loading a behavior. Loading a behavior just means I load her up with cookies while she's there. So she gets a continuous dope dose of dopamine or serotonin that says, hey, I really like this and she likes that and I should do it more. Want to try it again? Down. Nope, down. Good girl, yes. Good down, that's a good down, wow, nice. Good girl, super down. And I'm trying to beat her too, getting up on her own. Okay, because I want her release to be my idea, especially at this phase of training in week one. As we add more tools and more things into her toolbox, I'll be able to use my markers and my collar and my leash and my bumps and different things to help build those behaviors longer and longer. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I got for you today. That was really good, kiddo. It's really good, yeah. Um, her and I are going to do a couple more little things and go chill out for a while and work on some more stuff. But I wanted to get that video out to you this morning. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, good job. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Good girl.